How to make a flamingo pattern fondant cake. If you have a small teardrop cutter, go ahead and use that, but I didn't have one on hand, so this was my best solution. I have found that rubbing the surface with a very lightly damp paper towel helps everything stick and sort of melt into each other, but you definitely don't want it too wet. So if you get it too wet, just blot it off with a dry paper towel, just so that the surface is a little bit tacky. Make the side panel first, pop this in the fridge to stiffen up and make wrapping easier while you work on the top. Now I'm just going to use my tool to make some indentations for his wings and use my gel color to paint on the details of his beak, eyes, and legs. He's all ready for summertime!